Hey, good morning, guys. It's another day and another shave with Heiko. Today we are going to shave with a brand new razor, brand new to me. Uh, got it for a really good deal. It was an open box, so supposedly never used. Who knows? Two-piece Mercure Progress, the long handle version. So this is a adjustable razor and it's pretty interesting how this razor actually does that. So the same knob that tightens down the, the top here, the removable top, is also the adjuster. So when you put a blade in there, you just tighten it down all the way and then it ends, there's a little dot here on the handle. It lines up with a little plus sign or a little cross. Um, so you tighten it down all the way and then as you take it loose, there's a one, one and a half, two, three, four, and five. And that's how it adjusts. Apparently there's some sort of spring mechanism up here. So you're, you're literally raising the top. The bottom plate here is pretty much stationary, just like on a regular non-adjustable two-piece. The only thing that moves is the top and it's because there is some sort of spring mechanism in there. And uh, that's pretty simple. So very little moving parts. A lot of people have an issue with the plastic end here. It's a little on the rough side. It's definitely not as high quality as I thought it would be. Um, so there's some fuzz sticking out on the edges from the injection molding process or whatever they use. But yeah, this is the Mercur Progress long handle. And uh, this razor in, you know, in a few different variations and design stages has been around since 1955, supposedly. Mercur uh, is a German company that was founded in the 1800s by a gentleman named Hermes. And Hermes is a, a god. Hey guys, here's the producer and editor of this program. The German guy in front of the camera has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. Emil Hermes wanted to start a razor manufacturing company called Hermes. Oh, Hermes geez. is the name of a messenger god in the Greek mythology. That name, as a company name, was already taken, so he went into the Roman mythology and found an equivalent god called Mercur, or Mercury, as we English speakers call it, and picked that as his company name. And then the company has changed ownership a few times and is now known as Mercur Stahlwaren, and Stahlwaren is steel goods. So just to clear this up, Correct all the mistakes this German guy is making. All right, now we're going to continue with the scheduled program. Thank you. So, yeah, they make a bunch of different razors. Uh, a lot of people know the 34C, I guess. It's a good entry-level razor. This Progress here is somewhere between $70 and $80, so it's not really expensive at all. So if you want to start out with an adjustable razor, it's pretty good. I mean, you get an adjustable, some sort of Zamek, uh cast zinc alloy don't know exactly it's chrome plated it's not one of the razors that's going to be like an heirloom passing on to your kids but it's definitely an adjustable razor for a very affordable price i have a wilkinson sword already the wrapper opened let's see if we can do this without cutting my fingers so um as i said it's a standard two-piece take the top out all the locating pins are in the top, so you have to put the blade, the blade onto the top, and then put it flat on your hand. That's kind of a common occurrence here these days with adjustable razors. And then you just stick the bottom over it. Then you kind of have to hold it down a little bit so that the threads in the knob and the thread on the top here engage with each other. And like I said, then you tighten it all the way down, and then we notice that we're already at a three. Why are we at the three? It's supposed to line up with a plus and not with a three. So I have no idea why it does that. So here the, the little dot there is supposed to line up with a plus and not the three. So now I really have no idea where we are at in our adjustment here. We have a blade in it. We're going to do some adjusting. You know, the, the steps are still this equal spacing. So I guess I make up my own spacing here. We're gonna use the Presso pre-post, as always, to give the stubble some time. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, 
Uh, if you notice that the camera angle is a little different, you're a little closer to my face. I am trying out a suction cup mount that goes on the mirror in front of me um, that I can take to Taiwan in two weeks so that if I'm in a hotel bathroom that doesn't have any medicine cabinet next to the, the mirror, I have a place where I can put the phone because here in my bathroom I have conveniently there's a central medicine cabinet that is mostly occupied by my wife's stuff but they have uh, this cabinet has little shelves on the side and one shelf is perfect for camera uh, positioning that's what I have been doing and uh, in Taiwan we're probably not going to have that so I use a um, cell phone mount it's called quad log in my car and I also use it on my motorcycle so I already have water in my sink we are going to use the same soap as we used last time gentleman John worked really well it the puck is still in my little bowl my uh, Diaz cosmetics brush get that wet here real quick synthetic so we don't have to soak it for hours and then we're just gonna start up Oop, and the puck just came loose, that doesn't help. You're supposed to stay in there. So we're just loading up and then I'm actually going to do the main lathering in my face. As you guys can tell, I'm becoming a pro now. So we have soap, just paint it on, stay away from Heiko's nostrils. Mm -hmm. And my brush is dripping a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty close to the camera, huh? Angles are still kind of the same. The background is still the same. Nobody said anything about my fake vintage signs back there. I put that just... Put that there just for you guys. So you have to I have something to look at. Mm. Yeah, Taiwan, two more two more weeks. Getting ready, planning on how I will continue to create content for you guys. And I've already checked in the capital, Taipei, northern end of Taiwan. There are actually some really decent looking uh, shaving supply stores. And if I can somehow manage to get around and get to those places and uh, maybe take one of my kids along, they all speak some Chinese as a translator and ask if I can film in there, we're going to look around in one of those um, shaving supply stores in Taiwan, in the Republic of China. All right, lathered up, bladed up. And yeah, it ended up on a three. Now I'm twisting it back so that we're at, let's say a one, one and a half, something like that. Even though it shows a four. And let's see what it does. Yeah, you can hear the razor doing its thing. It's on the mild side, but it definitely does something. So let's give it a little more. Let's do, it's like two or two and a half. Uh-huh. So maybe it's a little on the more aggressive side of things. Huh. I really have to look up what people say about this misalignment of the adjuster down there that when you tighten up the blade that it's not ending on this plus sign but on a three and what people do about it maybe there's a way of fixing this yeah this is a rather <laughs> some people call it aggressive some people call it efficient Gives me a, a fair bit of blade feel. And due to the misalignment, we don't really exactly know what adjustment we're at right now.
Mm-hmm. No bleeding yet. You know, when you're doing shaving on YouTube, it's kind of uh, important that you have a acceptable complex complexion. Uh, you know, but then mosquito bites in your face. Have you ever had a mosquito bite? They're the meanest. They're like itchy. Anywho, let's rinse off real quick. All right, and let re lather. Traveling for me, as of lately, is kind of a mixed bag. I used to travel for the German military quite a bit, coming to the States primarily, went to Canada. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not so much fun anymore for me. Sitting in an airplane for 12, 13, 14 hours, it's just not. And then, you know, when you're traveling on your own dime, then, you know, a little hesitant to spend the extra thousands of dollars to upgrade to business and I don't have the traveler's point and points anymore that I used to have to get an upgrade once in a while so you're sitting in economy among 300 other people and I just don't enjoy it all that much anymore to be honest but then being in you know exotic places Taiwan I've been to Taiwan a few times, or a couple of times, I should say. Not bad, not bad, and the country is developing and changing so fast. All right, so let's do a cross grain. Let's dial this down a little bit, just a smidge. Here in this transition, I really have to be careful not to lop off my face. Especially with an aggressive razor. Yeah, so what, a, well, I already have a nick. I'm a bleeder. What am I thinking about this razor so far? It is Aggressive and it is a German made razor, which is exciting since I'm German made. So that's kind of cool But comparing it to the adjustable razors that I have shaved with yet or already Like for example the Gillette Adjustables the slim the super adjustable the fat boy I would say It is not better than those. It's different. I am a little disappointment, uh, disappointed about the alignment issues. I don't know if I just got a bad one or if this is common. You guys let me know down in the description. It's bleeding. Okay. So, yeah quality control when you put a standard razor blade in there that the adjustment just doesn't fall where it is supposed to too much water on the face let's do a third pass let's do a third pass today special day do we still have enough soap here yep uh, this one really bleeds a little bit huh Dial it down again. Dialing down. Let's do a, another. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. This is uh, a good razor, not a great razor. I, I'm, I'm kind of disillusioned now. I thought, okay, Fatherland, you know, the, the German razor, my first one in the collection. I thought, I would be really excited about it. But, but now that I have it, it's not so great. It nicked me twice. Once there, once there. I mean, other than that, handle is fine. Some people have a problem that it's really slick. But I even have wet hands. The handle is wet and it doesn't want to slip out of my hand. So I think that's fine. The plastic knob, a little rough. Don't like it. But it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the misalignment is kind of the, the part that bugs me. I, I will research this a little bit. If there's a solution to that, maybe this can be taken out, replaced the ring and the plastic maybe. Um, I will find out for sure. And then fix it and then we're gonna shave with it again. All right, so we got a three pass. Since I'm not doing against the grain anymore due to issues. Oh. Mm -hmm. Still pretty good, still pretty good. I mean, there is a lot of aggression available. Uh, some people have pointed out, so even if this would be lining up perfectly and you would have the perfect one, two, three, four, five, you could do a complete total one more turn. So you could get a 10 clicks of adjustment, so to speak. Uh, but we don't need to do that because roughly at a, at a three, three and a half, I had to give in. Oh, let's not dry off. Let's do the alum block because I'm bleeding. Alum block on wet face. Mm hmm ah. Little tingle. It's tingling my face. Yeah, uh-huh, there is definitely some tingling going on here. But again, I find this a pretty pleasant feeling actually. Not like I like pain or anything, but you feel like something is actually happening. So then we leave it on there for a few seconds. And then you're supposed to rinse it off. That's what the manufacturer says. And even though I stay away from my mouth because I don't like the taste, it's probably not good for you, I always taste it a little bit. And then, again for the bleeding situation, Parasso Green with alcohol. I like the little bit stinginess. And I really like the the smell too. Mentally, it doesn't linger. It's intensive the first few seconds, but then it goes away. Good. Yeah, so I really like the soap. Gentleman John, if you haven't tried it out, it's really inexpensive, it's like eight or nine bucks, a whole pug. It's probably gonna last me my lifetime. Um, you can really load up uh, Purasso aftershave. I mean, I have a few others sitting around here. I really want to get the aftershave to my tabac stick. It's the scent that my dad used to use back in the days. You know, my dad died a long time ago. So that's kind of reminding me of him. But overall, what do I think about this razor? It's good, not great. It's unadjustable, but I'm really kind of upset about this misalignment and how they would let it get out of a German factory like this. You know what, guys? I might be the idiot here. Sorry, this is really turning into a long video. <laughs> I think I just solved the problem. If you take this out, so let's take this out. The blade's probably gonna stick to the top. Yes, it is. Now we're gonna take the blade out, just temporarily. Put it on the edge of the sink here. Uh, now it's all dirty, but the top here 
has a focus has a little engraved line i don't know if you can see it yeah and then on the razor itself there is a where is it there's a little pointer cast into this section here right above my nail see that yeah and the line and this pointer has to line up with each other so if i now put this blade as dirty as it is if i put the blade back on here like this way and I have the pointer towards me and that little engraved line at the top piece. I want to bet that we're suddenly going to line up with a plus sign. <laughs> yes. So Heiko is the idiot. If you guys made it this far in the video, it, it vindicated itself. So I just didn't use it correctly. I knew about it, but I didn't pay attention. So you got to pay attention that you line up the engraved line with a little pointer. And then you will suddenly find out when you tighten up down the knob that we're now at a plus sign. And then from there you go down one, two, three, four, five. And then you could continue on another turn, some people have said. So I guess we will shave with this again and we will do it the right way this time or the next time. And the Mercure Progress Quality Control Department has been vindicated. Alrighty guys, that's it. Here's newbie Heiko with you. Another shave. Take care. Bye.